Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about five tips that might help you as a beginner producer. Let's get started. Tip number one is make use of free sample packs. There are tons of free sample packs out there um, for every kind of genre. One company that does them is Cymatics. They have a bunch of free sample packs that you can just go to their site and download. You can search YouTube for them, you can search on Google. There's just a bunch of free sample packs that you can just get started on using. Um, and you won't have to use um, the stock ones in FL Studio, although those ones are actually pretty good. That brings me to tip number two. Don't underestimate FL Studio's stock plugins. There are some really, really great plugins in FL Studio. There's Harmless, FL Keys, Armor, even plugins like uh, Sakura, Wasp, uh, Citrus. You know, there's so many plugins uh, inside of FL Studio that's actually really, really useful. So definitely check that out as well. Tip number three is make use of the mixer and all of the effects that FL Studio has. Obviously, I have some plugins that are in stock, but you know, in regards to reverb, I always use Fruity Reverb too. Um, delay, same thing. Equalizer, this equalizer is actually pretty good. There are some free alternatives out there for, for all of this, obviously, but uh, definitely don't underestimate FL's plugins because most of them are actually very, very useful. So next tip is kind of a productivity tip. If you feel like you're stuck and you don't really have, you're not really in a creative mood uh, and you still want to make a track, you can just drag an acapella into the playlist and you can start building around that. Open up a couple plugins, you know, make some chords, get a good, get a good vibe going, you know. Building around an acapella is a really good way to kind of start production if you feel like you're stuck. This brings me to the last tip, which is actually learn how to use one VST really well. I can't stress this enough because so many people out there think you gotta have all these different uh, VSTs, plugins. That's definitely not the case. You can use pretty much any plugin and create, you know, identical sounds. It's just about your knowledge uh, within those VSTs. So recently Serum has been becoming very popular, you know, these last couple of years. And I can see why Serum is kind of like the new massive, I would say, and is very visual as well. If you're coming into music production as a beginner, I would definitely recommend checking out Serum. One of my favorites has always been uh, Silent. I would say I use Silent more than anything else. So I really recommend Silent and Serum. I would say those two are probably today's most used plugins. That's basically it for these quick five tips for beginner producers. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. There will be more content in the future. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Gonna keep a tight uploading schedule. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you again.